Welcome to my world, kid. Slumberland. The world of dreams. Watching the dream world come to life was a wonderful experience. The visual effects are phenomenal. It's tricky doing a movie like this just technically. It's a huge effects movie and it's very complicated, so there was a bit of a puzzle of how we're gonna pull certain things off. We started in this modern apartment where the most stuffed animal pig comes to life. What? <laughs> they had four stuntmen all wearing these green suits. And then they just like pick it up and they're like wobbly and like walking around. <laughs> this is my first time working with giant walls of green screen and like characters who aren't even there. Filming the goose scene was so fun. We had like this giant goose with no head and no tail, so just covered in green screen. Yeah! <laughs> You're on like a quarter of a goose back, but then you watch it, it's like, wow. One of the most interesting things for me making this movie has just been the variety of things that we've done. We go from shooting inside, timeless lighthouse interior, to a dream in an old Havana Cuban hotel, to high in the Alpine mountains. Every day felt like something completely different with new challenges and new environments. I really enjoyed that process of building out those worlds. My favorite scenes that I got to film was some stuff in the water. I had an idea of what it was going to look like, but I didn't know that it was going to be that detailed. What's really spectacular about this movie is how visual effects turn these stages and sets into a world that's like being in a dream. You can do anything in Slumberland. You're crazy.